In this video we're going to talk about AG's Counter Trace. This is a new product, the publisher sent it to me asking me if I wanted to take a look and I thought, sure, why not? I love Counter Trace to use for my boxed war games and in particular for my folio war games, magazine war games, so that, you know, once you have the game in a Ziploc envelope, in a Ziploc bag, and then you punch it, then you're gonna have the, like, bulk that is all the the, the counters so, and so it's hard to stack them one next to each other but with the counter tray then they lay flat in there I put the magazine on top the whole thing goes in the in the Ziploc bag and it's just and I can stack them vertically or horizontally so I definitely like counter trays in general and really they are mainly for war gamers because of the games they have inserts and so the style this the size of tray may not fit they also may not have like a lot of small components looking almost the same but not quite so think of them as mainly for for war gamers Oh, look at that. I think you can see me in the reflection. Hey, hello, I'm here, the one behind the camera. So, these counter trays, they have 20 different sections, so a lot of room there to sort your counters. Sturdy, nice-looking plastic. Uh, they, the top holds onto the base, uh, thanks to these notches here, and it holds pretty tight. Right now, I'm only holding the, the bottom. And even if I do this, which I would not do with a counter tray for real, like when I'm using it, why would the heck would I do it? It still holds well. And so I don't think there are many chances they will come open once you put it in a box or in a Ziploc bag with your uh, word game magazine. And as for size, even if you look at a small, at a thin word game box like Salerno 43, a thin GMT, box then it fits perfectly then you add the lid and, and you're good to go the, the the pieces are gonna be sorted out already the next time that you play i'm probably gonna sort it the way i like to sort them usually is based on setup with up here the pieces that go on the board at the beginning then reinforcements based on the turns and then toward the bottom i have status markers and things like that one thing though is the is the die. So this is a typical die and if you're gonna put it here the, the box is not gonna close. So you're probably gonna put the die in one of the central sections then the box will close and nice and tight anyways. As for opening there are these two strange notches here which I haven't seen in other counter trays and I just don't know exactly what they are. I assume they are somehow to facilitate opening but I'm so clumsy that I... Ah, maybe that's how it is. You stick your thumbs in there, but I'm old school. I'll just take a corner and pull it. That's how I open my counter trays. And so if you're gonna dump <laughs> some counters in there, um, of course, again, later I'll do it more systematically, but for the purpose of this review, this is good enough. Well then, ta-da, it works. They also stack nicely on one another, as you as you can see. And as for retrieval, these boxes are large enough that even with my big hands, it's not hard to retrieve to retrieve them. Now I do like when G, uh, GMT counters that where the inside walls of each section are not straight and not perpendicular to the bottom, but they have a little more of a curve, which makes it easier to scoop them out. But again, nothing nothing wrong with these uh, other inside walls either. So this is for edgy counter trays, just a new option for uh, for your war games, so just a new way of keeping your war game pieces nicely organized for the next time that you play the game.